Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now, Greenland is one of the most remote parts of our planet, but changes there could affect us here in the UK. Scientists are worried that the country's ice sheet is melting faster than expected. That could see ocean levels rise and low-lying areas around the world affected by floods. Our science editor David Shookman has been to Greenland to look at what's happening. A vivid blue snakes across the Greenland ice sheet. A beautiful sight, but when the ice here melts, the oceans rise around the world. On the horizon, the ice sheet looms ahead of us. We've joined a team of British scientists. They're trying to understand how the ice is changing. We touch down in one of the remotest corners of the planet. The first task is to set up camp, a home in an utterly barren wilderness. From the air, all you can really see is what looks like a vast expanse of endless white, but that isn't the whole story. Because what's hard to grasp as I stand here is that this is just the surface of a vast mass of ice that's unbelievably thick. So let's imagine cutting it away right in front of me. The ice sheet stretches for as much as two miles, three kilometers from the surface here, right down to the rock below. In fact, it's so thick, you could take the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, and fit four of them end to end inside. And as we walk around, there's a real surprise. White ice is turning dark. And the darker a surface, the more it absorbs the sun's rays. And like wearing a black T-shirt on a hot day, the more it warms up. You've got this dark ice here, yeah, so we've got a dark surface. Martin Tranter, the chief scientist here, says one reason for the dark ice is algae, tiny plants. The algae are microscopically small, but they may be having a big impact. What we want to know is how far the algae can, can spread over the green and ice sheet as the climate warms. And it might well be that they will cause more melting and an acceleration of sea level rise. In the evening light, the shimmer of gentle streams, thousands of them. Until recently, the melting in summer was balanced by snowfall in winter. But in the last 20 years, the flows of water have multiplied, each one adding to the level of the oceans. No one's saying that this whole thing is going to melt in the next decade or even in the next hundred or even in the next thousand years. But it doesn't all have to melt for more people to be in danger. Only a small amount of, a, a very small portion of this ice sheet has to melt to raise the sea levels and then threaten millions of people in coastal communities around the world. What's striking is that this massive block of ice may be vulnerable if more algae darken the surface and lead to faster melting. Down at the edge of the ice sheet, the streams become a torrent. We already know that meltwater is raising the level of the sea bit by bit. But the researchers here want to find out whether that rise will accelerate. And for people in low-lying areas of Florida, Bangladesh, parts of Britain, getting an accurate forecast really matters. David Shookman, BBC News in Greenland.